Good morning, Keto Kids, and welcome to your Thursday, April 20th, and today happens to be National High Five Day, you know, and high fives are pretty cool. You might think of them as an ancient celebration because they seem so kind of basic and rudimentary, but you'd be wrong. It actually all boils down to baseball. You heard me right. Baseball. Anyways, uh, it was a celebration from the L.A. Dodgers back in 1977, and it kind of became the official uh, you know, celebration for baseball. It collectively blew uh, our nation's mind, basically, and we're all like, oh my gosh, it's the best. And now it's everywhere. It's in video game characters and video games themselves, extreme sports, uh, basically every single president, past and present, uh, since you know the advent has started using it, and it just has popped up everywhere, permeating our society completely. And we're all brainwashed into slapping our hands together now. I love doing it the hallways to kids anyway. So, you know, like high fives, right? So that's good. I hope to give you a high five after you're done with your testing today. But let's find the flag in the room and please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, you crazy kids, let's talk about food for the day. Well, we happen to have a ham sandwich or popcorn chicken with whipped potatoes, apple, and milk. Well, what's going on with that weather outside? It's going to be a little worse than we thought it was going to be. Hive only about 49 degrees. The clouds will part ways for the sun part of the way through the day, but there might be some spits of rain here and there. We're dealing with that really variable jet stream, so we're, we're our forecasts are changing by the hour. Uh, tomorrow's still looking really nice, though, almost up into the 70s, uh, and then the temperature will drop back out in the beginning of next week, but not too badly. It's going to be much more of the kind of standard spring weather. Well, let's do our Kendall Canines here. Uh, I have quite the treat for you here with um, a working dog, actually, or at least a, a partially, I guess, part-time working dog, we would say. Uh, but this one was actually shared uh, with me by Miss um, Cole uh, through Logan. Uh, this is Otto, our uh, Kendall canine right here, who happens to be a police officer dog. He's an eight and a half year old purebred German Shepherd and came from Holland uh, and happens to be part of the Orleans County Canine Unit for the past six years. He's trained in narcotic detection, handler protection, criminal apprehension, uh, and uh, building searching, which is really amazing, and tracking. I missed that one. Sorry, that's a long list. Um, and he will retire in about two or three years and become uh, a home dog, you know, a loved uh, canine in the household full time, which is really amazing. Uh, so we're going to give him those uh, categories and the points. We're going to call him uh, solidly in the boofers category for being about 85 pounds and plus 100 points because his resume is much more impressive than mine. Anyways, let's finish out our announcements here. That Kendall mission statement, the mission of the Kendall Central School District, provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. Well, you guys know what I'm going to tell you. Remember to have a terrific Thursday. And if I get a chance to see it, remember to stay colorful, Kendall.